the indus valley civilization is identified as belonging to the proto historic period it is basically because though the indus valley people knew the art of writing but uh, the script of the indus valley civilization has not been deciphered so far if you would have been able to decipher the script or read the script of the indus valley people we would have been able to understand the different elements related with the civilization in a much better way we have a lot of written records in the form of seals terracotta seals and seals made of different other materials also like steatite like copper like bronze tablets also on which they used to write they used to inscribe it and uh, they were expert in this writing numerous seals have been found from the indus valley civilization sites which have signs and symbols which indicate that they used to maintain records they knew the art of writing and they used to maintain records trade and commerce was in a flourishing stage in the indus valley civilization and this required maintaining of records and it is clear that they knew the art of writing but we have not been able to decipher the script we have not been able to uh, read and understand the script that they used to use the harappan script have been found not only on seals and copper tablets but also on axes on pottery but it is very unfortunate that we have not been able to decipher it well the scholars the historians are busy trying to decipher the script and hopefully when we will be able to read the script of the harappan civilization we will be able to know and much more detail about the civilization that existed in the northwestern part of our country many of the scholars believe that uh, the script of the indus valley civilization was related to the dravidian script some scholars also related with the indo aryan and the sans an indo aryan script and also the sanskrit language some scholars believe that the script of the harappan civilization was related to the sumerian sumerian language so there are a lot of uh, differences among the scholars regarding the script but still uh, we hope that in times to come the scholars will be able to decipher the script and uh, uh, we will be able to understand the different features of the civilization in a much better way numerous terracotta seals have been found from almost all the sites of the harappan civilization these seals are big and small only a group of few letters have been identified on some seals but there are also seals which contain large number of signs and uh, the longest inscription that has been found on the seal that have about 26 signs there were about 375 to 400 signs in the harappan script which the harappan people used to use they used to make pictures they used to make signs and symbols and this is why the harappan script is identified as the pictographic in nature so we can say that the harappan people used to use pictographic script which contain numerous signs and symbols which were used to represent different type of things sound or objects thus we can say that the harappan script was not descriptive but it is particularly pictographic in nature pictures signs and symbols used to be made of different things 
the harappan script was written from right to left and this is a important feature of the harappan script and uh, it can be said that it was completely uh, the invention of the harappan people it was not copied from any other script uh it is because of the fact the the scholars are unable to say because of this fact that the scholars are unable to say with certainty about the language of the harappans because uh it do not relates to any other script of any civilization it has not been copied from any other script of any other civilization so its originality becomes a important uh, reason for it not being deciphered so far not only that bilingual seals have not been found if the seals would have contained bilingual use of script then it it would have been you it had been easier to decipher the script for example we know that the harappans had trade connections with the mesopotamian if the mesopotamian script would have been also used to explain what was written in the harappan script then it would have been easier to decipher the script but this type of seals have not been found and so the scholars till now have not been able to decipher the script hopefully the scholars will be able to decipher it and we will be able to know much more about the civilization well seal making was a very important uh feature of the indus valley civilization it can be said that one of the most outstanding artifacts of the harappan civilization are its seals about more than 2000 seals have been found from different harappan sites and these seals used to be made of terracotta copper steatite even bronze and of also stones stone seals have been also been also been found so they used to make seals of different types different of different things the shape of the seal, seals also used to be different normally rectangular seals used to be used but circular seals have also been found in some of the harappan sites in many of the seals engravings of uh, unicorn or what we call in our language as swastik has been found beside the pictures of uh, many many animals have also been found in different seals like rhinoceros ram tiger elephants etc many geometric patterns have also been found on the seals that they used to make normally the method of making terracotta seals was that that they used to wet the the the, the clay and they used to ins- inscribe whatever they wanted to write on that and they used to leave it for drying in the sun so it used to become hard and also permanent also in order to give it more make it more permanent they used to fire the uh, mud seals which used to get converted to terracotta and use and uh, be, used to become uh, permanent also which could last for a very long time so normally these seals were used for maintaining records related with trade and commerce and other things related with ownership of property etc one method that was used by the harappan people was the use of seals for sealing also the consignment that they used to send for trade purpose the mouth of the bag full of goods was stitched or was tied with rope 
and the wet clay used to be applied on the knot of the bag then one or more seals were pressed on it leaving an impression on the clay in the bag this method of sealing meant that it had not been tampered with in the process of transportation it also conveyed the identity of the sender these seals and sealings were very important for both internal and external trade and commerce such seals of indus valley civilization has also been found in the regions of mesopotamia which tells us about the contact of the harappan people with the mesopotamian region uh, mesopotamian region this gives proof regarding the trade relations that the indus valley people had with the mesopotamian region